Just started. All right. So Ross has me in mount, and I want to do an escape where I get under his legs, right? And I'm here. From here, I can suck him in like a double under and come over to the side, right to the pass, or, or I can scoot out the bottom, right? So if we're here, I come under and I can just come out, right? Sometimes grapple a leg, come up on top. Here's the thing. If I can't get under Ross's legs easily, a good trick is lifting my hips and putting my arms under my back. Now, obviously in gi, this isn't a good idea. In MMA, not the best idea. In wrestling, ain't gonna work. But here I am, hands are under my back. Now I'm in the scoop position. So again, Ross has me. I'm not gonna frame up by my head. He doesn't have lapel grips. I'm swimming under to my hips. Once I'm at my hips, Ross is pinning me, right? And I can't get them in. So I go under my lower back, scoop, and from here, now now really do what you were doing, Ross. Don't let me do this. I want to do tiny little rabbit off and I'm out. And I can start to come up, whatever. Bam. However I want to do it, you'll come up with different ways. Now, now, real quick, let's show it off of the pass though, how I can enter. Let's say you're in half guard, okay? And you start to staple and you come over like you're coming towards mount. Immediately, I want to put my hands under Ross's leg and start to come out. However, the cards fall. So as people are passing, I'm framing, swimming, getting under the hips, pummeling under the legs, but I can come under my own back and get there. Cool?